welcome back to my channel today we are building a need any another <laughs> another modern house but this time this house was requested by my cousin so if you're watching hi hi ha 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 <laughs> anyways i hope you will like it and i hope that yeah i hope he will like it and I hope you guys will also like it so let's talk about the build this build is called um, bachelor button um, if you know bachelor button is or bachelor button <laughs> bachelor bachelor button is a type of flower um, I chose that name because of the color of the flower and the use of the flower so the flower um i think it's better if you guys search it <laughs> but if you guys are aren't uh aren't that much of a searcher not really a searcher what i mean is you don't want to really search about it right now um a bachelor button flower is basically a flower that you use during weddings or just about anything but then I chose it because of the vibrance of the color that matches the color scheme of the house which is blue and purple um, I did not choose the color scheme my cousin chose it and Hopefully, I gave justice to the color and the build. <laughs> Anyways, um, this house is three floors. It has four bedrooms. So there's two, uh, one master's bedroom, one guest room, and then two spare bedrooms. Um, it has one storage room. It has three bathrooms. I think there's three bathrooms two public uh, two shared bathrooms and one private bathroom there's one study um, and then I am still thinking of what I am going to do with the third floor because at first I was thinking of putting the spare bedroom there but then I made space th uh, in the first floor so I might um, think of putting an entertainment room there as suggested by my cousin so we'll just see in the next part of the video so again this um, part of the video if you have watched my other builds I usually split my videos into parts the first part would be the building part and then usually the second part would be the furnishing part and if I get my skills up to par with <laughs> If I get my skills to be better with um, those, I don't know what you call it, the machinima, like how you do a house tour, because I tried that with the lilac and um, I wasn't really that good and it was very shaky, but I hope you guys still enjoyed it <laughs> because I am still in the process of learning to use the tab mode because some of you suggested that I use the A and D to rotate the camera. But then the A and D for my game works the same as the arrow keys. So it just moves forward, backward, side, and side. So I am still uh, hoping that the, what do you call those things? The one that looks like Pac-Man. Yeah, that one. The greater than and less than symbols <laughs> okay i'll just do that greater than and less than symbols I'll, I'll just try and see if it works later on when i start um furnishing the last uh, the final rooms of the house so yeah um here you can see me play around with um the half walls because oh not because um it's just to add something to the roof because the roof is really flat and I was only able to put roofings like the slanted roofings uh, at the very top 
floor and then just added some of it in front uh, at the second floor as you can I think you'll see it right now I'm not sure anyways guys before I talk about the build again if you guys haven't um, followed me on my other social media accounts um, my social media accounts will be popping up right now there you go. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and Tumblr. And hopefully, um, as soon as I'm finished uh, building my Wix website, I will also link it down below because I want to try to create my own blog, not only with Tumblr, but also with my own site. But unfortunately, I am not going to be able to buy my own dim domain. So, I hope you guys won't mind the ugly <laughs> URL. So, yeah. Hope you guys will like it because I really want to try to upload my own builds quicker. Because with the Sims resource, I really have to wait until they approve, uh, approve my build so that you, could, you guys could already play with the build and download the build since it takes a lot of time and we have to really wait even if I already sent it a week ago sometimes it takes a week sometimes it takes a day until they approve the build so I was thinking of um, just uploading my own works in my own own blog blog site and I hope you guys will be able to download it faster because right now unfortunately I can't upload my builds to the Sims 4 gallery because I still don't have access to it one because we have um, slow internet here at home so usually when I play or build in the Sims 4 I am offline and the only times that um, I could upload my videos to YouTube is usually at night time and I would be really really tired by then to, um, to I don't know to upload it on The Sims 4 because well of course I don't have access to it if I, I can have access to it I have to go outside and yeah the computer shops here in the Philippines Philippines <laughs> in the Philippines not all of them have the Sims 4 in the in their PCs the only games that they have would be League of Legends Warcraft um, I think some still have like the old school MMORPGs like Flife um, Cabal and stuff like that now I'm not talking about the build anymore Anyways, it's the build here right now is just repeat, repeat. Like, I'm playing around with the wallpaper. I'm playing around with the roofing, the trimmings, the the half walls, and yeah, it's just um, repeat, repeat. Now we're putting the windows um here. Later on, I'm not sure if I was able to record it, but I changed the wall heights on the second floor. And I think also the third floor because I, for some people, the wall height, like the lowest wall height is already okay with them. But then for me, for this build only, it didn't really fit because I like the style of the windows be not being full. Like they're in the, on, on, on the middle of the wall. So there's like space above, like you can see the concrete or the wallpaper. And it really... Um, even though this build has a lot of uh, a lot of windows, a lot of open space, it still makes the the build uh, the interior not very overwhelming with the uh, openness. Because even um, the rooms have uh, a lot of windows, some of the bathrooms have a lot of windows, so it just uh, minimizes the openness of of the build so yeah 
Um, and then this house has two pools. One is the elevated one, like I built it on the second floor. And then the other one would be at the backyard. So, yeah. Um, this uh, modern house wasn't supposed to be this big. But then I went all out and then just, I don't know, I, I, I enjoyed building it and I hope that my cousin would like it even though it's really big and yeah, I just really wanted to give my cousin the, the biggest house I could ever build for him even though this is not the biggest house I have ever built so yeah, I just, um, he gave me how many rooms I have to put, how many bathrooms, how many floors and yeah at first he told me that he only wanted two floors two stories but then while I was building this house I started adding a third floor and then I don't know why but the time there were times of recording like I didn't record it um, I removed that second floor and it, it looked really flat for me so I asked him if I could just add a third floor and then use it as an entertainment floor and uh, thankfully he said yes so it still worked yeah um what else oh now we are doing the landscaping the landscaping here is also just repeating repeating a lot of uh, those small trees and then a lot of the romantic garden bushes like uh, the white ones but then I chose the white and purple one because I wanted to stick with the theme of white uh, of purple and blue I mean there as you can see I uh, size it up so that it looks bigger and I don't have to waste a lot of um, money with using just the regular size and yeah so the landscaping for the front and the very back of the backyard is the same. I think also for the sides. I think so. And then here I'm adding some trees. And what else do I do? Yeah, just um, putting a lot of color to the house because the outside of the house is really just plain rocks and some whites and those blue tiles. So. I thought that adding a lot of similar colors to the house just gives uh, gives liveliness or gives meaning to um, the motif that my cousin wanted and also to the name that I chose which is the bachelor button and yeah after I put those shrubs or those bushes I do the backyard here I play around with the size of the backyard because the lot is really big <laughs> the lot is really big and I didn't really thought of how big 40 by 30 was so yeah here I am just um, filling in the spaces that are blank or doesn't have items so here is the second pool which I was thinking of just doing as a jacuzzi but then the tub that is in the sims 4 game is small and then if i use that i really have to use more space i don't and i don't know what else i could put in this backyard because if i put more of those um chairs then it would look like um like a resort and yeah i think that would be a little bit too much just for a family house <laughs> so I just stick with the idea of using the pool and hopefully 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 you guys could imagine and think of it as a jacuzzi oh now that I mentioned that I didn't put those bubble thingies there <laughs> nice work Heinji nice work <laughs> Anyways, um, we're almost done. I think we're almost done. Yeah, we're almost done. Um, before I end my commentary, um, I only 
placed two photos of the build just the front view of the build because by the time that I am recording like right now while I'm recording this um, this video I am still in the process of building the house so I am still not done with the furnishing I'm still not done with the interior and I think later on a lot of things will, will still change with the backyard so I didn't really want to show you guys what will happen later so I was just able to take a picture of the front view so I hope you guys won't mind and I will end my commentary here so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did pinch that like button down below um, comment any suggestions ideas comments or anything that you want to share with us down in the comment box below and if you are new to my channel and still haven't subscribed I would really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe because I built this channel for you guys not only to, to uh, not only to the sims community but also to those who are interested in my videos in hopes to give you and your sims joy and happiness so I hope you guys um, enjoyed the video I hope you guys enjoyed my commentary and my just me talking nonsense and me repeating whatever I, I say and yeah I hope you guys didn't get bored and I will leave you guys right here so thank you very much for watching I hope to see you guys soon um, hopefully that would be tomorrow or later but yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!